Hey, what's up Weekend Warriors? If you're looking for an easy way to figure out what's your ideal saddle whip, then this video is for you. and welcome to the weekend warrior just a little overview um, about this video um, the reason kung bakit ako nag search for that uh, ideal saddle with for me is because a few months back there was this 7-eleven race that was supposed to happen and then uh, there were several weekends before that where you can do your track read you know? so it was my first time to ride my bike for such a long time a long period of time normally I'll just spend about 20 minutes 30 minutes and then uh, rest and then ride again but this time two hours three hours on the saddle and I started experiencing yung soreness sa groin area as well as sa buttocks ano. so which so this led me to to do some research and I found out na dapat pala you, need, you have to have the proper saddle width that matches the width of your sit bone. So now, how do we measure yung length ng sit bone? So I did some research, and daming choices. You have one where you can get cardboard and, and sit on it until magmark, and then you can measure point A to point B. Or you can put like a aluminum foil on top of a carpet, sit down for 30 seconds, and then yung depression nung sit bone mo, you measure it from point A to point B. Okay, that's another one. And then I found an easier method, which is actually measuring yung, yung lapad ng wrist natin. So I found this, yung website ng WTB, and they have a, a tool there where you can use just by measuring yung lapad ng wrist mo and then from there if you enter the figures in their calculator and they will give you the suggested saddle width you know? so uh, the, the tools that you will need for this one will be uh, you can either use a ruler okay? you can use a ruler and like this flat on the table, put your wrist on top, like that, and then from point A to point B on the your wrist, you will measure. No, um, just take note for for males, the measurement is from this sa taas ng buto, okay, and the one touching here where it where it curves. No, and then for female, the measurement nila is sa, sa mismo tapat ng buto. So, this will give you a wider measurement compared to the male. No? So, that's something you should take note when you measure. Okay. Now, to make the measurement easier, it I'll be using ano, uh, a caliper. No? So, this will give a better uh, or a more accurate measurement in risk. Okay. So, I'll take my measurement. So the the website will require measurement in millimeters. Okay, so in my case I am sixty millimeters. Okay. Okay, so now so now that we got our measurement, um we'll go over to my uh, to the WTB website and let's check the ideal saddle width for me okay guys so we are here in the WTB website so once you reach the website you can go to this section okay find the right 
fit system click okay like I mentioned a while ago uh, if you're born male you measure from this area of your wrist and then if you're born female you measure from the area and so my buto okay so it will give you a wider measurement so click this and then from our measurement kanina the sa caliper i was 60 mm okay and then we go to the next step so what type of biking do i do example i not i'm not leisure and i'm not that aggressive man so and my sitting position is more of uh, in this angle okay so i click performance and my body type is an inverted triangle and then for padding it's up to you of what type of padding you prefer but for me I, i'm not really comfortable with the thin padding uh, but according to the website this is a common choice for road gravel and xc and thick padding naman is suggested for rides that are shorter than two hours so this does not fall in the category that i'm looking for so the ideal padding for me is the medium padding so next step okay so based from the measurement my sit bone measurement is 120 mm so the suggested width for me is a width, medium width saddle and of course with the medium padding which i selected so now they will provide you with the different uh, saddle models na mtb has uh, so according to his this one the sit bone range between 102 to 130 is under the medium width and based from the models that they have here uh, they have the Volt, the Coda, the Diva and the, this one is the Norca League Limited Edition and the Lone Wolf so based from the description here the Volt is the most popular mountain saddle shape for speed and comfort time tested so I think I'm gonna look for this specific model the vault and see if you can find one here in Manila let's check out vault so usage is for gravel cross-country trail enduro bike packing they are available in narrow, medium, and wide. So for me, I'll be getting the medium one. And based from the chart here, uh, depending on the rail material, so I think I will go either titanium or chromoly, depending on the availability. Uh, from titanium medium is around 220 grams while the chrome only is 310 and then between the two there's also difference in padding there's the dna padding and there's the hlx plus gel padding let's check out the saddle technology what does DNA padding and XLX gel padding 
Say for DNA padding, provides a dense padding that dramatically reduces saddle weight and produces an ultimate level of support. And DNA padding holds its shape incredibly well. Okay. Uh, the HLS gel padding okay, has added comfort by strategically placing gel inserts in the areas where sit bones contact the saddle. So gel provides you know, additional support uh, which avoids uh, the soft the pinching of your uh, soft tissue. So basically that's the difference with the description. Although I cannot compare yet because I haven't tried this. Anyway, we'll look for a saddle that's available and we'll base it from there. Okay, so based from the recommendations from the WTB website, I search around the different bike shops here in Metro Manila and was able to find one specific to the recommendation of the website. So here I have WTB Vault in medium size. Uh, this model comes with the titanium rails and DNA padding. Now, based on the specs on the website, this is around 235 grams for those who are weight conscious. But for me, it's not really uh, it's not really important. More important with me is the the comfort that I will have during the ride, and hopefully. This saddle will relieve me of the soreness that I was experiencing from the track read that I have. Okay, just a little view of the saddle. This one comes with a, a channel in the middle, which will help relieve also the, the discomfort in the groin area. Okay, here you go guys. So I'll be installing this in my bike and test it out for a ride this weekend. And I'll let you know. So if you guys have any comments or other recommendation on how to measure or figure out the right saddle for you please let me know in the comment section um, what methods do you use uh, how do you, what measurement do you use how do you adjust or position your saddle in order to relieve you of soreness or discomfort please let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you guys again thank you